Jason, you still have to get our sheets from downstairs. Hurry! I'll get them, Michelle. I'm taking out the trash now. Okay, I've got the breakfast dishes soaking in the sink. Just a minute, you two. Come now, pumpkins. Michelle, is this the way I've taught you to rinse the dishes? Oh, no! And, Jason, you didn't replace the plastic liner in this trash can. Sorry, Grandmom. I'll go get it right now. I guess I was in too big a hurry. I'm sorry. Remember what the good book says. Enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. Haste makes mistakes. Is that a real proverb? It jolly well is. Take the time to listen and do it right the first time. Like the trash liner. I'm on it. You'll just make a mess if you rush. I'm mopped up, Grandmom. And I just put the liner in the trash. That's more like it. Okay, thanks, Grandmom. Oh, hold on. Aren't you two forgetting something? Make your beds, please. Uh, will do, Grandmom. Now, where's that spaceship? It was right here. Jason, you heard Grandmom. We gotta put the clean sheets on our beds. I did. Jason, it's fine. I'll make the bed later. <laughs> Whoa, definitely later. Hey, thanks, Mitchell. Where is everybody? Sorry, Michelle. No time for chit chat. We gotta get going. <laughs> The others are at the Comet Lounge, making sure Sol doesn't run out of the afternoon special. Sol's Aurora Borealis Fruit Punch! What are we waiting for? Let's sing a little song with eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. <laughs> Kevin. Punch. The Sol hasn't lit the sign yet. Whew. I'd hate to miss the Aurora Borealis, best fruit punch in the galaxy. Hey, I was in line first. Captain's first, then everyone else. Actually, whoever says Sol's silly syllables goes first. Sol's silly solubles? Syllables. Tongue twisters. Whoever can say a tongue twister is first in line. Sorry, men. You don't stand a chance against my silver tongue. Glib is my middle main, uh, middle bane. I mean, middle name. All right, Captain. Now, my advice is take your time to get it right. Sure, sure, Saul. Just give me the tongue twister. Lydia Lightyear lit loudly along luminous lunar loops. Lydia Lightbulb lit lightly along luminous lunar loops. That was close, right? Vigil, your turn. Now remember, take your time to say it right. Stella's startled starling started staring sternly in stereo. Oh, sure. He gets an easy one. <clears throat> Stella's startled starling starling sternly in sterno. Oh, I know. Welcome to the gulag. We'll never get one of Saul's super sippers. Hey, I said a tongue twister. Does that count? Kevin, you're next. Sally sallied saliently, sailing silently. All right, sure. Kevin's gonna get this. 
Sally, Sally, saliently, sailing silently. Congratulations, Kevin. You get punch first. Attention, penguins. Attention, penguins. No more time for word games. Although, if you've taken your time to say it right, you'd be first in line, Captain. Anyway, I've got a job for you. I trust you'll take your time and do that, right? Doesn't he know the Aurora Borealis punch is going to be served soon? When did the Admiral have that put in? Penguins, listen up. Planet Winky Tiki is basically one big volcano, okay? And it's gonna blow, you know, lava everywhere. It's your mission to save the tiny village on the edge of the island. Well, go, people! Go, go, go! <laughs> Can you save a little for us? Pretty please? Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. You know how popular this stuff is. I can only make it when the sunspots are just right. Then it might be all gone by the time we get back. Then we better hurry and get this mission done pronto. Now make sure you do the job right, Captain. Haste makes mistakes, right? Very good, Michelle. Exactly right. I might need some help. Cadet Jason, you've been promoted to my co-captain today. Really? Cool! It's up to you to see we make no mistakes, but we have to get done really fast. Hold those drinks, Saul. We'll be back faster than you can shake a hula skirt. Captain, your hula skirt's ready. Ooh, I gotta go. Am I really co-captain? You are indeed, young man. I mean, I'm still the boss. All you have to do is make sure we get through this mission fast. And that you take time to do it right. Yeah, that too. Captain, we're being hailed by the head tiki. What? They're hailing us? Why? We've never done anything to them. Mitchell, prepare to throw hail back at them. The big icy chunks if you got them. Uh, no, Captain. Not hail as in, uh, a precipitation of ice pellets. Right, what he said. I mean, hail is in, uh, um, uh, hey, hello. We would like to talk with you. Oh. Well then, put the ice away and the head tiki guy on the screen. Aloha! Aloha! Uh, hello, Vera, to you too, sir. Oh, for goodness sakes, don't frighten the poor chaps. Let me speak to them. Raise the camera. Uh, there. Uh, hello, and welcome to the tropical paradise of Wiki Tiki. Uh, we're in a bit of a rush. <laughs> Saving Old Planet was a last-minute addition to the schedule, so uh, what can we do? Well, actually, we're rather hoping that you could rescue us from uh, all this. Uh, no, uh, not that. Such a draw for the likes of you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Captain? Captain? Come on, people! No pushing or shoving! Please, remain calm! Let's keep this evacuation as orderly as possible. I can dry my hair faster than this. Uh, Captain, uh, this is all nicely organized, but the uh, lava is still going to destroy the island. Can't have everything, King Guy. Keep moving, people. <sighs> At this rate, we'll never get everyone evacuated before the lava flow devastates the entire village. Oh, yeah, that. Plus, we'll miss Saul's Aurora Borealis punch. Mitchell, plan B, now! <laughs>
falling. We can't hold them all. They're too heavy. All right, Mitchell. Just drop them back on the island. We'll have to come up with something else. Hello. Oh. Oh. Aloha, brother. How's it? Actually, Captain, if I might say, uh, what we really need from you is... For us to plug up the volcano. I'm way ahead of you. No, uh, no. Uh, you, you see, uh... Stand aside, King Guy. Professionals at work. Watch and learn. Are you folks using that moon for anything? Uh, no. Uh, however, plugging the volcano won't work, you see. Perfect. Jason, he's in too big a hurry here. The captain's not listening to the king. He seems to know something. He's the captain. I'm the co-captain. You're just a swabby. Listen up, penguins. It's time for Operation Stick a Cork in It. To the ship! calls for an Aurora Borealis punch. Quick, to the Comet Lounge! Yeah! Yeah! Uh oh not so fast, everyone. We got blinkings and beepings. No, blinkings and beepings? Both? Oh, my. Our moon clock is heating up and becoming very unstable. We need to back away. Now! Doctor, I thought you said that this was a moon. Ah, uh, yes, well, uh, we were in such a hurry, I didn't stop to think that the moon might be made of uh, popcorn. Mm, yum. Uh, okay, let's hurry and do something else. Captain, wait! We seem to be just rushing from idea to idea. Uh. Wait, we're being hailed! I mean, contacted by the Tiki King now. Aloha! No! Oh. Penguins, thank you for the popcorn. What a splendid surprise. I don't believe I've ever seen someone try and deal with an erupting volcano by providing snacks. <laughs> Fascinating! So, besides uh, popcorn, we're wondering if you have any other ideas for dealing with the volcano. Yes, we're all ears. Since the captain and his co-captain won't listen to anything you have to say. Yes, yes, I've been trying to tell you, if a few stone slabs were retrieved from the dark side of the island and... They could be used to build a wall to stop the lava. Brilliant! Uh, actually, uh, no, that's not it at all. Uh, all we have to do is... Good idea, King. We're on it. But wait! <laughs> but, Captain, I don't think the King was done explaining his plan. What's there to explain? It's so obvious. What else could it be? Michelle, as co-captain, I'm ordering you to put a cork in it. Let's have a lot less thinking and a little more action around here, people. Got that? Oh, Lord, Captain. I believe I see the region he's referring to. I got the coordinates right here, Captain. Then let's take a dive to the dark side. to me that we are for all intents and purposes doomed. <sighs> no! Rook! Hey, King! We've got the stones and we're ready to build! No, Captain, you don't understand! You need to listen to me! That isn't going to work! Now, if you'll place the first one along the edge of the lava, we can... Along the edge? We can do better than that! Watch this! No, wait!
There, fast and easy. Perfect. Now, Vigil, to the Comet Lounge. Top speed. Captain, oh, uh, blinking some bee things. Again? What now? Look, the dam's gonna burst. <laughs> It's worse. You were right, Michelle. We didn't take our time and we made mistakes. Captain Zigil, Jason and I have realized something. Can't stop it. Tried everything. Captain, we have tried everything. Except listening. Listening? What do you mean? Grandmom told us enthusiasm without knowledge is no good. And haste makes mistakes. Translated means... Is this a tongue twister? Oh, wait! I think I know. Rushing to do things in your enthusiasm instead of taking time to understand and think causes problems. Because you'll just make a mess if you hurry. Yeah, big mess. Right. We've been in such a hurry to get back to the Comet Lounge for Saul's Aurora Borealis Fruit Punch that we've been running with the first ideas that popped into our heads. Nobody listened to the Tiki King. You're right. It's all been a big, fiery, lava-spewing, popcorn-popping mess. How about a little less action and a lot more listening around here, people? Captain, please don't cut me off. We're running out of time. It's not necessary to divert the lava. We have a plan. Uh... You're listening to me? Yes, Your Majesty, we are. I should have done that in the first place, and now I've made things worse. I apologize, sir. Oh. Well, uh, apology accepted, my good man. Uh, Penguin, sorry. I thank you, sir. Is there anything we can still do? Actually, yes. Do tell your majesty. Well, we'll need several new slabs of stone. that it never would have occurred to me that you wouldn't want the lava flow stopped at all. Oh, are you kidding? Just look at all the new beachfront it's making. I hear you, sir. Because I'm taking time to listen. Uh, mahalo, Captain. Mahalo, Nui. Say, does that happy look on your face mean we're done here? Yes, we are. Unless you want to hang out and enjoy the beach. Love to, Your Majesty. Kevin! <laughs> It's time to ride Luna Kahuna! Kawabunga! Kawabunga!
There's an Aurora Borealis punch with our names on it. Captain, and all my chores when we got home. Sweet dreams, my sweets. You too, Grandma. Oh, and thank you for the spit spot job you did with all your chores this evening, you two. You're welcome, Grandma. Good night. Hold on, Jason. Are you sure you did all of your chores? Yeah, boy. Next time, I'll slow down and do it right the first time. I promise. Thanks, sis. You're the best solicitor of guy. Jason? Jason? <laughs> Sweet dreams, Jason. Mm -hmm. 